So the key question is, was the listing of Medview Airlines PLC yesterday a cotton razor for that sector making a comeback on the Nigerian Stock Exchange Trading Board? Chukumayawu is the head of research at GTI Securities and is down there at GTI Trading Floor in downtown Lagos talking to us about this. Good morning, Chukuma. Thanks for seeing you on the program. Good morning, both. Yeah, that's, so that's the key question. Um, is Medview uh, Airlines listed? Do you see this as a cotton razor for this sector that went into limbo on the Nigerian Stock Exchange? I, I guess we uh, have you there. If you can uh, hear me, uh, Chukuma, that very uh, listing yesterday was a major one for the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Of course, if you look back at what the history of airlines listing was on the Nigerian market, the first listing was by a company called Associated uh, uh, Airline, or by the acronym ADC Airlines PLC, way back in, 19, in the mid-90s on the exchange, just more than 20 years, about 22 years ago. That company uh, started as a technical engineering company, uh, later went out of the market, then Albaca Airline, I also came into the market via an IPO, uh, then later went out, lost out of the market as well. Uh, Chukuma, give us your thoughts. Well, um, it's clearly a cutting razor for the general market, industry, for the airline industry. It will be one of the first major IPOs, um, at least for this year and you know, for the recent past. Apart from the um, set class that um, had a lot of vibe around it, this um, IPO is another one that has taken that uh, that trajectory. So yeah, it's a very positive one for the market. And for the airlines, like you pointed out, we've had um, airlines listing in the past. We just um, hope that this one, um, with better management, better um, market oversight, better uh, policies for the aviation sector, for the federal government and all of that coming together, we'll see and um, make you continue to sustain the momentum that we've seen before you. Uh, Chukuma, this was a listing by introduction. In other words, uh, no new shares were sold prior to this listing uh, by, the, uh, by Medview Airlines. I, mean, I know that's what, what you meant to say. So this was not an IPO. Uh, this was a listing by introduction. You just I take the existing shares by whatever price was agreed on by the financial advisors like uh, your own firm and bring it to the exchange, about 9 billion ordinary shares. So you just get about that 150 cover per share there about. So that gives you about 14 billion, 14.6 uh, billion that you list on the exchange. Would you have uh, preferred if this was an IPO? Well, the good thing for me is uh, we are getting some more um, interest back into the market, so that is by introduction of the IPO. Um, these, these are the kind of activities that uh, like the market conditions are not exactly favorable for an outright IPO. Um, um, by introduction, is is a bit a bit more practical of a way of getting into the market. So yeah, whether it's by IPO or, or by introduction, for me, I think the, the bigger picture is the fact that we are getting renewed interest. But not just the airline services uh, back into the market, but generally renewed attention back into the market. And it fits right into the strategy of the NSC uh, that, that they wanted to deepen the market um, in 2017. And, and I think this is a step in the right direction. Uh, well, okay, I know. Uh, once any uh, renewed interest comes to the market, whichever way it comes in, you market traders and analysts are always, <laughs> always interested because as Mr. Some more money to be made, more opportunities at the marketplace. Thank you very much, and welcome to a brand new month. Um, Chukumayawo from GTI Securities, Head of Research. Thank you very much for uh, bringing us your, giving us your thoughts for uh, one or two minutes on that.